And now we go to Nikolai. The project is developing the platform, which is aiming to help the, I guess uh, uh, some of you are aware of uh, NFTs and play to earn games. And uh, in this context, we are talking about the, the play to earn games, which have something like scholarship. Uh, so it, they have a program and some of the people are playing, some of the people are just buying NFTs in order to be able to give this, rent this to the people to uh, play with them. Uh, so there's opportunity because we're trying to make something like LinkedIn and job board for this type of people. And we are giving advanced analytics and uh, easy application uh, management for the manager. So we're trying to give all these type of opportunities. But currently we are not ready with, uh, of course, with almost anything. And uh, I really i am inspired with your project and your progress so far and the whole tech, the, uh, tokenomics and uh, everything you achieved so far. But we are not ready with the tokenomics and we want to, we, with our beta, we want to launch the first version of the, we call it Juice, but it's the points inside, the, inside the, the platform. And I'm currently working with the, with the desired actions and which one for them, uh, which phase is more important. But uh, we have a question and it's kind of difficult for me to understand. Uh, I have a lot of uh, dynamics which are leading to the users and the managers are earning juice, earning points, but mm -hmm. we have only one for burning juice and for spending juice. And I'm just concerned that uh, we will have a better version of the subscription plan and the paid juice points, but I'm just concerned that we will have, they will have a lot of opportunities to earn and not that much opportunities to spend their and you will have something like devaluation of the, the premium pack and nobody will buy because they have a variety of opportunities to buy some. So that's my main question. But if you have other advices in this field and which is more important to think about, I would be very happy to know. Yeah, so uh, that is a, a big meaty question. So for those who don't know, he's referring, I believe, to a recent uh, NFT project called Metablocks. And uh, that one is... Uh, connecting real world places with life memories. So this this is the uh, the game loop of MetaBlocks, and you know we have the phases. I think you've seen that because uh, you talked about the tokenomics. One thing to figure out the burn mechanism. So there's two places. One, when we do the Actos Try dashboard, number one, we think about rewards, right? So you think about rewards. These are all the things you can possibly give out. So all the different perks, whatnot, and you have to kind of do the same kind of exercise with Kickstarter campaigns and whatnot. So ideally. There are things that people can can get that are useful as rewards, and then uh, so those could be become burners. That's number one. Not, not for for a traditional game. Not there's not a lot of these things that are outside of the game that can be burned, which is fine. Um, number two, you can think about if there's some kind of utility. So the so we have two types of currency, right? We have the meta rent, and then we have the memory coin. And for the long longest time, there's just meta rent. And we also needed to figure out how people can spend meta rent. And there is the easy way, which is the operations. Actually, I think in the, even the white paper, is this the white paper? Okay, yeah. There's three sections that talk about spending meta rent. There are many things that require spending. Okay, here, haha. <laughs> control, actually, can you imagine life without control fine? Like literally if, we, if this never <laughs> exists in the world. Like how much time we would have wasted in our lives. Um, yeah. Okay. So operation utility and governance, right? Operations. So these are just like, hey, when you do steps, when you do stuff, you just need to, you just need to spend some of that, right? So that creates that not only creates some kind of burn, it creates a necessity for for your your coins, right? You just have to keep using it. If you can't use it, you can't do anything. And so, uh, so even though a uh, a blocks generates meta rent. Hey, you need meta rent to root your memories in it, to level up the blocks. You need to, when you do stuff, you need to spend you know, meta rent. So that's one thing. Then you think about utilities, and utilities are like extra cool functions that you could have in the game, right? Listen, we're not talking about outside of the game. You know, hey, you get early access to new regions. So, um, or you can open a new mystery box, you know, and, and when you have a mystery box with a lot of, so this is actually, mystery box is more of an evergreen burner. So mystery box would be like, hey, it doesn't matter how much you have, if you just want to spend it and you can open a new box and another box and another box, and another box there's no like, I've saturated, right? The other ones, if you don't, if you, if you reach the tip, you can't level up, you stop spending, right? So this is just a very small like process, processing way to burn it. But mystery box are the evergreen ways like, as, but you do need to stuff to come out of the mystery box. So that's the planning about, do you have 
just like Geomon's legendaries, epics, and all that stuff. You need a lot of content, which goes into aesthetics, right? Aesthetics are usually great at infinite burning uh, because, you know, if you have five hats, five types of gloves, five types of shirts, five types of shoes, suddenly the combination of all this stuff becomes, you know, uh, you know, substantial. And so, and this is why a lot of NFT projects are, can actually exist, right? Because it's just all these small variations on a cat or all the small variations. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then there's finally the governance and the governance for us, we have two things. So we have, um, you know, actually governance for the company direction. So, Hey, you get, you get, you get to vote on where the company is going. Uh, but also we love people to form communities, right? When they form a community, they can uh, burn their meta rent for a vote. Like, Hey, I really believe in this issue. So I'm going to spend a thousand meta rent uh, on it. And they're like, Oh, well, I don't really care, but I'll put a hundred meta rent just to show where, like where, what I'm talking about or what I, what I care about. So there's those, so there's that aspect too. Now, the biggest thing that we want people to spend meta rent on is also the auction for landmarks, right? The auctions, which is, and this is somewhat what we think about uh, defending in whales. So if, yeah, if there's a whale, you know, then the, the nice thing about auctions is that there's like no amount is too high as long as it's this other rich guy, right? If you're a rich guy and it's like, oh, I have a hundred million dollars, but, and everything is $20, $10, $5, then I just feel like, hey, what, like, I don't care about my money as much as, but if there's another hundred guy who's a hundred million dollars, there's only one item you have to bid for, then it's like, oh, both of you can throw in like tens of millions of, of dollars just to try to get it from the other person. So, so the auctions are really useful in that. Now, not only, so every time we go through a landmark auction, uh, I believe it, it will burn a tremendous amount of meta rent. And, um, and also landmarks, they burn meta rent too. So to, it's called the upkeep cost. Um, and so the landmark is like the very prestigious item. And so, but it doesn't generate meta rent anymore. You need all these other places that generate meta rent to, to feed this, uh, this landmark. And so I believe that, hey, people are at least taking turns being the big rich research and meta rent. So, so that's the, that's the on-server currency. And then we still have to figure out the, um, you know, the actual coin. And so, um, so we came up with two things, right? Gov the governance token, which is basically, again, you, can, you get to vote on company issues. It also allows you to put a cap on how much money meta rent you can spend on voting for a collective activity. So, Remember, I said, "Hey, I want to, I want to put in a thousand meta rent, um, and and spend. It's going to be capped by how many memory coins I have, or it's going to meta meta blocks coins. That's the whole term. So meta blocks coins. So it's like, hey, I don't have a lot of meta blocks coins, so I'm, but I'm going to max it out, right? So, so you have you need meta block coins to to even burn a lot of meta rent to to make votes, and then we have the dividend token, which is." A small percentage of uh, of income that the company makes will go to Meta, um, you know, MetaBox Coin owners. Uh, so we just say, hey, this is like a little a uh, little board seat, right? So it's like being a stock owner of a company. Um, you will you can act you can actually um, you know have a board seat vote almost. You can get dividends, and if the stock goes up, you you, you make money. So now we there we don't have a way to burn memory coin, but it is very limited because. And all, we only generate one coin or a few coins when a property level is up. And there's only a few properties, you know, there's 5,000 properties in San Francisco and they can level up to 26. So how much you can burn is capped or you can, you can generate is capped. The only thing that landmarks and what we call mecha blocks generate, generate them, but very, very slowly, right? Um, it, 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 like we calculate even in 80 years, it's not going to make a dent in the economy. So uh, a, a a coin's value goes up if the demand for it exceeds the generation of it, right? So even if you're constantly creating more and more and more and more, you're creating 10 a day, but every day, people, you know, more people want 100 more, then the value still goes up. Um, now, the question is, can that be sustained, right? Be um, which is why a lot of times, you know, um, if the world is big, so it could, most projects can be sustained for a very long time, like Bitcoin's... This was sixty. It reached sixty thousand dollars, but it's people still think it could be, you know, a, a ton more. Uh, so I think most NFT project coins don't have to worry too much about the, the ultimate cap, as long as they're constantly creating value. Like you're actually getting more people to care about the project and want to play your game. So, 
those yeah. are things to explore with that with that uh, tokenomics. Yeah, thank you. That's enough for now. <laughs> okay. Good luck. It's it's always a exciting but tough tough challenge to go through. <laughs>